Good day to you all and welcome to another video. This is Zodi's Rails. I'm Zodi. Let's start on the video. Now, some of you may have known from my last videos that this has been a little bit of a problem for me, this new build that I've done. Uh, more specifically, this set of points right here. Um, uh, O4Os won't run over this point on uh, the right hand spur there. I'll go over this bit. Sometimes I have a little bit of trouble, but most of the time they won't go up there. And I'll show you what I mean. So this is the one that's been the troublesome the most, the little Smoky Joe that we got here. See, it goes over that fine. Let's change the point. Goes fine there, but then... Now it's got stuck on the other point. It's a little bit of a tap. Uh-oh. See what I mean? When you're on when you've got a shunting layout where you need to go slow to shunt things, that's not very helpful. And yes, the wheels on Smokey Joe are clean as well as the track on here. I have cleaned it. Now to try and see if something will work, I'm actually going to go by the comment from one of my subscribers who suggested something that they saw where you get a... So I'm currently in the edit right now, just want to clarify something. Um, the pictures that they sent me on Twitter is a little bit different to what I've done here. The um, picture had the guy adding graphite to the uh, the blades themselves, but as there's still power going to both tracks, I thought I'd try it on the frog there at the top there, so it might sound like I'm saying that's what they suggested, but they suggested it on the, um, uh, the, 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 well, not the frog, but the other bits, so I do apologise for any confusion, but they did give me this idea, so thank you very much indeed. Graphite pencil and sort of just feel a little bit of a line onto there, a little bit on there then that might um, do a little bit more conductivity so it can get over the dead point a bit more. So we're going to give that a try. <laughs> One thing is ironic is the fact that it's a Hornby point and a Hornby loco, but it won't work. But it will work absolutely fine over the Pico point. <laughs> One of those things, I suggest. But I'll be back, get myself a pencil, and we shall see if that sort of thing will work. Okay, so here we are. We got, I've got my uh, bog standard pencil. So I'm simply going to do the parts that I think need doing. So. All right, let's do that. Wipe any excess off on the other rail that we don't need to do it on. Sorry if the camera's all over the place and trying to do it all one handed. You can see we've got a bit of uh, graphite on that frog there. So let's see if that will do anything for our little loco. Nope. <laughs> it just does not like it, does it? Does not like that little bit there. Well, let's see if it will do it over it with a faster speed. So, get a bit of a run up. Does not like it whatsoever, does it? <sighs> oh, sorry. Covered the camera there. Um, anyone else got any ideas? Uh, it was a good attempt. Thank you to the subscriber who said that. Uh, to me. Uh, I'm not sure who the original person is who come up with the idea, but it, it, it's a good idea, just doesn't seem to work for me. Uh, if you have any other suggestions apart from ripping up this whole point, because that'll be a big pain in a bahooty, um, do leave that below, uh, and we'll probably give it a go maybe this week or next week, depending on when I feel like filming, if I'm honest. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed this little mini video. Uh, hopefully we'll get it working, then we could do a little uh, running session on this. 
Thank you for all your help, guys. See you in the next one. Enjoy.